Okay, so now that you're getting used to SQL a little, a little bit at least, let's try to give you something a bit more challenging. One of the tricky things for first-time SQLers to learn is how to use parentheses properly to make sure that your AND and OR operators are returning exactly what you want. And in particular, people often have trouble when they do the type of join that we've taught you so far with making sure that an OR operator doesn't cancel out a join statement. So let's practice these two right here. Ideally, uh, you will take a shot at these yourself first and see if you can get them right and then just check this video to see if you got them right but I'm gonna assume you've done that so let's go ahead and copy this going to open up access this is the same uh, data file that we've been using for every uh, for the previous 21 ish or 2 ish problems anyway let's go ahead and create a new query design now just in, oh you know what? I always forget just in case this is tough for you to see let's expand that a bit there we go Okay, perfect. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. Let's do that again. Close, SQL view, maximize, paste. Okay, write an, let's fix that. Write a SQL statement um, that will find employees who make more than 20,000, but no more than 80,000. Okay, have a good performance rating. So it's got to meet both of those criteria as well as anyone who works in the Miami office. So that's an or. They've got to meet this criteria, that criteria, and this criteria, or none of those criteria, and work in the Miami office. Display these things. So let's start with that. Select first name, last name, salary, performance, location, city. That's going to require, uh, whoops, select there we go from employee location where now first thing we do is join these two tables together so employee.location ID equals location.id let's double check and make sure that's what they're called location yep is an ID employee it's called right there location ID perfect okay now we need an AND statement here to let us add these criteria where salary is greater than 20,000 and here's what I want to do uh, and remember white space is ignored you can use it however you want to make life easier on yourself so I'm going to put these all together on one line since they need to meet all three of these initial criteria and salary uh, who make more than 20,000 but no more than 80 so it's got to be above 20 but no more than 80 means less than or equal to 80,000. And uh, performance must equal good, with our double quotes. Or we want anyone where location city equals Miami. Okay, now if we run this, oh, sorry, let's order by salary. Can't forget that. Order by salary. Let's get this out of here. So this is not correct, but let me show you why it's not correct. Now you might think so far, well, duh, let's make sure that we put parentheses around all of these so that they happen together. And that's smart. Um, well, basically with the way ands and ors work, that doesn't make a difference, but it might help you think through it a bit better. But let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. Okay, so I get a, uh, people who are in Miami, like it says, or I want people who are good and make between twenty and eighty thousand, like William Martin right here. But wait a minute, why does it give me William Martin again working in Miami? And why do I have so many people working in Miami? So what you might do is double check and see. Okay, let's see where Miami is. Miami is location four. And employee, how many fours do we have? Let's sort smallest to largest. We've only got three people working in Miami total. So something's not right. Well, if you remember from one of the previous videos, this happens when, let me go back to our SQL view. This happens when this join right here, when we forget the join statement. So if you forget the join statement, what it tries to do is match up uh, the location city where we have that criteria or equals Miami. It has to be Miami, but it doesn't know how to match Miami up with employee. So it matches Miami up with every employee, which is incorrect. It's not holding, uh, it's not 
enforcing this rule right here. Why? Because what we've said is not what we think we have. We haven't said this right here. What we've actually said is where this equals true, meaning all of these conditions. It joins it, salary is above 20, below 80, and performance is good. Or it's saying ignore that ignore all of this right here, including the join, and just say where location city equals Miami. So if I leave all the parentheses out, it's going to ignore this join whenever, uh, you know, in this uh, with this criteria right here. So how do we solve that? Well, uh, ands and ors are like uh, multiplication and plus in a, in, a, in a mathematical formula. So if we were to say 10 times 2 plus 2 equals, well, the uh, multiplication division happens first, much like an and happens first. So therefore, this is going to be 20 plus 2. It's going to equal 22. Well, let's say what we really meant was 10 times 2 plus 2. Well, in that case, that's going to equal 40 because it's going to do the 2 plus 2 first. That'll equal 4. 10 times that is 40. These are different things. The plus is like the or. It gets it gets uh, handled second, and the multiplication is like the and. In other words, it's going to enforce these ands first and keep them together, and then it's going to apply this or second. So the way we fix that is we put the parentheses around this all the way to this. And this says now that this join has to happen no matter what, and one of these conditions right here has to be returned as true. The first condition is all three of these things together. The second condition is just this one right here. So this will always happen now, and one of these two things needs to happen. So we run it. Sure enough, now we've got our three Miami employees. One, two, oh, it's not going to work, is it? I was trying to hold down control. Anyway, three Miami employees, sorry. And then everybody else is someone whose performance is good, and they make between twenty and 80000 So uh, to make sure that we never lose the join, put parentheses whenever you have an or around everything after the join statement. Then you can add more parentheses if needed. Let's say what we really wanted was anyone who's between 20 and 80 or anyone who is uh, um, good and working in Miami. We would put a parenthesis there. We could print, put a parenthesis there. We could, whoops, if I actually did a parenthesis. There we go. And we could change this to an and, change that one to an or. My point is you can have multiple nested parentheses if that's what you need. But let's go back to the right answer so you can check yourself. It is whoops, this one right here, final answer. OK, let's uh, save this one. Move on to the next. One more example. All right. Copy. And create. Query design. SQL view, paste. Okay, hopefully you can do this one now on your own. Take a shot at it. If you already have, let's go ahead and do it now. Select, looks like we're going to need first name, last name, hire date, location, city, position, title, from, employee, whoops, we're going to need location and position, where, so let's do our joins, Employee.locationID equals location.id and employee.positionID equals position.id. Okay, these are our two joinment statements, so we need to make sure both of these always happen. All right, and then it says managers, and we know that we have multiple types of managers, so let's go ahead and say uh, and position title like we know how to do this star manager and who were hired after the year 2002 and higher date whoops higher date greater than pound sign 2000 well, let's see after the year 2002 so it's got to be greater than we can do this a couple different ways 12 31 2002 that would give us all 2003 years 
or we could say greater than or equal to 1, 1, 2003. Okay, am I reading that right? After the year 2002. Mm, it doesn't say whether that includes 2002 or not. On an exam, I would ask the instructor for clarification on that one. Anyway, as well as, so that means, okay, they don't have to meet any of those two criteria. Anyone who works in the Chicago office. Okay, so, or location city equals Chicago. All right, so where do we put the parentheses? Um, oh, let's not forget order by higher date. It says descending order. Okay, so we want to make sure that these joins happen no matter what. So let's simply, let's make sure we start here and end here. Okay, so now this has to be true. There's an and, so this also has to be true. And now something in here has to return a true. Okay, there's two ways to return a true. The first way is they're going to be a manager and hired after 2002. And we don't need parentheses around that because this and will force those two together. Like a multiplication sign ha happens first. Then the or, uh, location city equals Chicago. Um, this will work. Let's go ahead and delete that. Run it. Here we go. We got managers who were hired uh, after 2002. Did I do that inclusive? I must have. Let's go back. So greater than, uh, higher date, greater than 12, 31, or, oh, I see, or locations that equal Chicago. Uh, right here. This person was not hired after 2002 and their manager. However, their location city is Chicago, so it returns them anyway, because that or means they don't have to meet either of those other two criteria. So there is your right answer for both of those problems.